Peace and balance vibrations, family. I trust you well. Vibing in resonance. I'm your brother Curtis. I root. Reflecting the view, and I'm honored to come to you right now. You see, when you're learning more about yourself, it should always be a joyous thing. Even though some of the experiences you may have may not look as glamorous, you know? Uh, things we go through, we're supposed to come back stronger, under pressure, diamond, pearls. All the while, incorporating everything you learned in the past into each step you take in the future. That's wisdom. Sankofa. Give thanks to the ancestors who have come before us and the giants in which we stand today. So, when learning more about yourself, you can even predict what's coming in the future from patterns, relationships, um, a number of different things. You see what I mean? If I say that, 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 you know what comes next because you know the pattern. And music is the same. And really everything. Because, you know, it's fractals upon fractals that replicate each other to make a grander whole. Macro, micro. You get me? So, in learning all these things and want to put them together, you want to be able to share them in, their, in its context. And today I just wanted to share that sharing or truth is a vibration. I've said this time and time before. Like you hear truth when someone's speaking to you and it's honest. You can feel it. It's no wavering. And you know truth. You know, you might have got confused in some other things. It depends on the delivery and where it's coming from the heart. Because we always want to speak from the heart. That's how you know it's true. And how you do this is for myself, because there's no multiple ways to do it. It's taking a deep breath. And even when you're excited and the thoughts may not seem to be coming out right or the right words of vernacular lexicon, take a breath, take a pause for you. And if anybody else comes to the breathing party, which is that space in between when you were saying something, and then the next speech that you say, that space right there gives an opportunity for another breath. What if you took three of them? I mean, you give three times the opportunity for someone else to go inside and pull from the invisible. We're using air to go inside and come back up with clarity. There's a point in my life when I didn't speak. Uh, I didn't speak because uh, I didn't speak, I say, correctly, quote unquote. You know, I mumble quite often because uh, fear, false evidence appearing real, plays on your thoughts. And my brother Tim Lee actually brought to it uh, to, for, to the forefront, saying, "Now it's basically your, your imagination. What if we just played this game as a kid too? What if such and such happened? What if? And what if? And what if? And what if?" And you'll find yourself being such a great creator. We that's our essence. We are creators. We are the supreme. And some of these stories we tell ourselves are so elaborate. I'm telling you. <laughs> we can win Oscars if that's what you were going for. Because the, the we believe them. They have soundtrack, they have character, they have voices, they have supporting actors, they have all these things in our minds. And it wasn't until I had to go back to that last production or that first production and unravel the characters which I created that I had to release in order to be the greatest version of myself. Where would I be if I didn't have love? Where would I be if I couldn't tell you I love you? If I couldn't show love? If I couldn't express my joy? But I see all that because during that time of expression, audibly, audibly, that I could not get the exchange I wanted, I began to start putting it in other aspects of expression. Sports, football, basketball, baseball, track, ROTC, marching band. <sighs> Giving thanks, because my mother put a saxophone in my hand. And so I began to express myself a little bit more through sound.
straight from the heart. And the vibrations became the most high thing I could give to somebody because I would be in the moment. And as you know, in the moment is where the truth lives. That's all we have right now. Right now, right now, right now. And if you can find joy and love in the moment, you become untouchable. Untouchable by the next. You know, things just pulling you down because love is light. And if you, the only way to fly is to become lighter. So increase your joy from the inside. Take a breath. Go inside. And B. Until next time, your brother Curtis Aru, the reflection of you. You can find me in the moment. <laughs>